Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves going across the pond to Ireland, where a Sovtard has been pulled over because, well, they don't have any insurance on their vehicle, which, even in Ireland or any other reasonable country in the world, is pretty much illegal because, you know, you got to be able to pay for your damages somehow. But I guess sovereign citizens really don't care about that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, for the record, I am producing Constable... What's your name again? Sorry? Falk. Constable Falk. I'm producing in a document. If Constable Falk fails to return this document to me, or tries to take it from my presence. It's, it's, it's a bond. Again, that's why I, I wanted to show you a different thing. And this is stamped by the Irish government. Yeah, this guy uh, actually thinks that a bond will replace his insurance, I believe. And he'll go through all sorts of uh, word salad gobbledygook bullshit over the next few minutes. But... Uh, hang in there. This video does have a happy ending, so you might want to stick through it because it's a wild, little bit of a wild ride if you enjoy this kind of stupidity. Um, let me put this light on here. Okay, this is for the Ministry uh, of Transport, Dublin, uh, from Sean Paul Kenny, beneficiary. Okay. And this is the bond. This bond provides insurance for Sean Paul Kenny and my corporation for the value of four million sterling. Now again, yeah, yeah. So you have an have an apparent bond worth four million sterling, or uh, translated to uh, USD, uh, roughly five million dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, something doesn't smell right there, dude. I, I don't know, but I think I'm standing ankle deep in, well, your bullshit at this point. Because why would the Irish government issue you a $5 million bond for a car that probably isn't really worth that much? I mean, there are Lamborghinis that are cheaper than that. Uh, certificate order insurance. Uh, again, that, that, this is a bond. Uh, your, more, your, your certificate of insurance comes from uh, a bond. Wait, you, you buy a policy. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Listen, can you give me the formula? I'll bring it to the station. No, I'm going to be seizing your car for no insurance. Uh, listen, uh, you, uh, as insured, if you seize my property, you will be committing theft. You have read the notice on the door there. You have read the notice. You have read the notice on the window that if you seize my property, you're liable for a thousand pound fine, constable. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> this this wouldn't be a classic soft art unless they had some sort of fee schedule. So yeah, uh, good luck with that. Uh, Doofus, uh, uh, I really don't think the uh, police department is going to pay you a thousand dollars for your car. Leo, sorry, I'm going to cancel your fucking thing. Constable, I'm stepping out a sec and I'm no That's threat okay. to you, okay? I'm no threat. Stand on that side That's okay, I'm no threat to you, I'm stepping out because I have paperwork here that I wish to show you before you seize any vehicle because as I say to you, you will be committing theft and it has been recorded here. As, as I have shown you there, this is a bond. Uh, I have provided this to one of your constables before this has gone to the other places, uh, the courts, uh, Judge Nigel Project and that has it. Now if you seize my property, you will be committing theft. I have asked you to provide me with a form to provide these documents to the station and to send me on my way, you failed to do so. Therefore, any claims you make, you will be making individually as a constable and you will be committing fraud. Now this is a challenge. 
No, dude, the only one that seems to be attempting to commit fraud here is you, because according to your own uh, country's Road Traffic Act, uh, you definitely need insurance, and I don't think a fraudulent bond is going to suffice for that. In fact, uh, I dare you to uh, present this argument to a judge who probably knows the law a lot better than you. But you say later on in this video that you've already won court cases. Uh, they were probably dismissed, like here in the United States, where uh, a lot of sovereign citizens get off because they don't need to overcrowd the prisons in our country. But believe me, it's still an illegitimate argument to begin with. I'm not confirming anything just right now at the moment, tolerating this here. This is a notice to challenge judgment to Nigel Broderick. Fraud virtue, it's everything. No judgment of a court, no order of a minister can be allowed to stand if it has been obtained by fraud. Fraud unravels everything. The court is careful not to find fraud unless it is directly pleaded and provided and proved. But once it is proved, it effectuates judgments, contracts and all transactions whatsoever. On Monday the 27th of June 2022, at a venue being Balamina Courthouse and in the setting under you, Judge Nigel Broderick, authority setting being a courtroom, one R. Needham, constable with the PSNI and witness for the Public Prosecution Service, did swear under oath that he earned believed when asked by Sean to name the victim, the living man or woman who made a claim or report of eye causing harm, injury or loss to be a Virginia, with no other names but Virginia, to which I now know, or to, to which I know of no woman personally or one's travels met any woman by this name. Upon doing some research into Virginia, I discovered that Virginia is the crown, uh, or is the queen, and Rex is the king. Thus, Virginia Rex represents the Crown and or the State, aka Government. As neither the Crown nor the State are living man or woman, they have no living right to make any claim and or report to be a victim in the context of being a living, breathing man or woman. Oh yeah, that's the typical sovereign citizen bullshit right there. Uh, making the claim that uh, the government can't prosecute you for any crimes that you commit as, quote, a living man or woman. Which we all know at this point is a load of bullshit. Given this fact, uh, given this fact and the fact that I should, uh, did read two our meetings on the day that I was stopped, and as King Charles took his oath to be served, or to serve and not be served, under your oath, you are violating your royal oath. Now, again, I have asked you to provide me the form to bring this to the station because I do not feel comfortable talking to constables uh, who do not seem to understand and I do not wish the constables to be making false claims. So I wish for you to provide me with a form and send me on my way and I will bring in... I will, I will, I will bring the documentation to the Balmina Police Station. Now, I have offered my services freely but under duress of threat and seizure of property. Miss Sean, you want me to call you Sean? Sean, what's your date of birth, please? Again, under duress, it's the 23rd of the 1st, 1981. 23rd, 1st, 81. Thank you very much. Now, again... 23rd of the 1st, 81, I got that right, yeah? Yes, again, I have uh, informed you, Constable, that you are committing fraud because as... You, as you are now processing, Sean, I'm just trying to be my job. Uh, and listen, I'm just trying to be peaceful and get on with my life. Yeah. Yes, you're abusing your powers to enforce actions which do not apply to the normal living man and woman. Okay, uh, so uh, what you're basically saying here is that laws don't exactly apply to anybody at all only corporations because i know that living man corporation bs what it's all about you idiots tend to believe in a duality where uh a, a there's a corporate self and a, a living self and it's only the corporate self that gets the punishment for anything in fact that i think i remember this one guy i covered who actually tried to turn in his paperwork to allow his paperwork to serve time in his stead it was wonderfully stupid of him and it didn't work 
he still got arrested and he still had to serve time because of his, well, stupidity. They do not apply. I've and I'm going to you and I'm that that's there. okay I've been on that's that registration legal. for three years it's not illegal okay. it's not illegal that's why I told you to speak to Nigel Broderick when I was in court last year because of this case with Arn Eden Nigel Bro Arn, Arn Eden put a, he done the exact same as you I'm sorry Arn Eden tried to do the exact same as the cars going by by the way that I'm shouting okay Arn Eden tried to do the exact same as you and he brought me through court for a fraudulent debate when in court, Nigel Broderick, when the charge came up for fraudulent plea, because I had my documentation given to Nigel, Judge Nigel that is, the charge was dropped from a fraudulent plea for failing to inform DPA of a change. Okay, then I did inform DPA of a change after that, and I provided Nigel Broderick with that, and I had that documentation here too. So as I said to you, under Data Protection Act, I do not wish to keep the human beings Okay, and I wish for you to give me the form and I will come to the station. Right, well, can you explain? I can't understand why that's, that registration isn't coming up on any system. You will need to speak to the CEO of the DVA because he has been informed it's recorded. I have the... I have... I have asked you for your insurance. Oh, isn't that nice? He referred to a branch of the Irish government as a corporation. Uh, dude, uh, I think you seriously need to have a reality check and understand the differences between governments and corporations. I mean, it might benefit you in the long run to just idly think that uh, a government branch is a corporation because, you know, there are differences. Can I provide you? I provided you. You provided me with a bond. You have to provide me anything that says certificate of insurance. Look, it says on there. It showed you on there. It, it provides it insurance. Does say, it does not it, say. It says it provides insurance. Listen, we're getting wet here. Can you give me the form and send me on my way, and I'll come to the station and talk to you there. We're, we're we can. You're going, to, you're, going, you're, going, you're, going, you're going to leave a minor strand at the side of no, the road no, no, and an 18-year-old. No, no. Yes, no. you are. No, no. Yes, you are, because I have a minor no, in the car. Oh, no. Uh, don't tell me that this idiot actually reproduced. Who the hell would do that with him? I'm not going to inconvenience him. It's that, uh, and what are you doing with me? I'm stopping the driver under the road traffic order on the road. Wait, you're stopping me under the road traffic order? Can you state which uh, part of the road traffic order? Which section, constable? Which section under the road traffic order? Because it varies. Because again, I've told you under section 3 of the Fraud Act, failure to inform, you will be abusing section 4 of the Fraud Act, which is uh, abuse of your position. Your position as a PSNI constable is to serve and protect. As you are failing in your obligations and your royal oath to serve and protect, and any claims you make will be proven to be fraudulent. Uh, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news for you, Savtard, but it is in the Road uh, Traffic Act that they have over there, so you might want to check it yourself before you open your mouth. Oh, wait, it's already too late. You opened your mouth and made yourself look like a complete dumbass. Now, I do not wish you any harm, Constable. And I wish for you to send me on my way. Failure to send me on my way will see you committing fraud. Now again, I have various options at my disposal too. Under Section 24A of the PACE Act, I can perform a citizen's arrest for you violating Section 3 of the Fraud Act and Section 4 of the Fraud Act. Again, I do not wish to do these matters. I have freely offered to bring the documentation to Ballymena Courthouse for you to assess it. Everything I am saying is true and truthful and can be proven in a court of law upon which if I am brought to court you will be made to stand in court and give your evidence as the victim because you are not given a witness statement. You are not a witness to anything. You are the one making the claims and again under the Data Protection Act, uh, under GDPR, uh, which is regulated by the ICO, there's categories which are titled controller joint controller and processor you are processing as a joint controller i'm the controller and i have the ultimate control which means i have the first and last word i'm trying to work with you i've, I've, 
I have offered I have offered to give you my free yeah. service at the station out of the cold and wet. Yeah. I've asked you to send me on my way. I've yeah. showed you documentation. But I'm not that, so You're okay. not going to, so this is you under your own free will no doing this. Your vehicle's now seized for no insurance. Okay. I have provided you a document which yeah, which you disagree with yeah, and you're making false claims. Yeah. You're processing. Listen, okay. You've read I'm, a letter to Judge Potter. You showed me a bond. Yes, which okay. uh, a, which a, a which a bond supersedes a policy, by the way. Some Department of Transport or something like I, that. A, bo it, it a bond supersedes a policy. But anyway, listen, right. again, you are processing information here unlawfully. Unlawfully. You're breaching the Data Protection Act. Now I have informed you and you are of your own free will seizing, which is theft of a property after reading a notice on the window, after having been given free information and service under duress of threat of being arrested. Now am I being arrested? Am I being arrested, Constable? Roger, you couldn't uh, start me a serial for no insurance, please. Again, just proving that he is starting a serial process. Roger, Church Road, in He is starting a process to get serial numbers. A serial number is just an incident number. Again, that's a process. Yeah, it's just yes, job. you're a process. You're a joint controller. I'm the controller of the information. I have tried to be reasonable with you, but as joint controller, your powers are limited. I haven't been obstructive, and this recordings will prove that. Sorry. On police systems, on the motor insurance database, that that vehicle is not insured. The motor insurance. Listen, I have informed government policy. I have informed government heads of all of this here. Okay, I am registered on a different it's system than you. On the information that I've received, as far as I'm aware, there's no insurance on that. Okay. As far as you're aware, so again, this your is your free seized. statement. Okay, so that vehicle is now seized for no insurance. Again, seizure is theft. No, with the two people that are in the car, if you require assistance to get them on, it is cold, it is wet. Am I being arrested? No. no, I'm not being arrested. I'm not being arrested. No. Okay, so I'm... I, I, I haven't arrested you at any point. Okay, you haven't arrested me at any 18, point. Hours, Sean, okay. And you're seizing yeah. my property? Yeah. And that's all that's happening here? No, no, I haven't finished yet. Oh, okay. Right. So, so you're holding me against me well here now too. Yes, you are. Uh, listen. Uh, it does be a lot easier then, Sean. It's 1822. You're under arrest for driving with no insurance. You do not have to say anything. Sorry, don't hold on. Don't. If you do my not mention phone. one question, something which you need to Well, now, stupid is, it's stupid does, and uh, everything that came out of this guy's mouth just seemed to be nothing but a bunch of incomprehensible word salad. Uh, that, well, just came out of thin air for some reason. And to Ireland, I apologize if any of these soft tart ideas made it to your shores and, been, and have been wreaking havoc over there. I deeply apologize for that. I mean, we didn't mean to do it. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?